is the Chibi Scammon here, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last part, we pretty much took care of the lake region, and we fought some lineups and we got some really cool weapons from it. But yeah, we pretty much completed the lake region. In this part, we're gonna head into this big region over here. So, we did see, actually, I think the tower's right there, not that I think. Yeah, the tower's just right there. So yeah, we're gonna try to head for that tower over there. So yeah, and also I scan Wolfling just because I want to. But yeah, anyways, we're gonna follow along this path and well, just get there. So it shouldn't be really oh hello much of a problem. I say that and we got Octorox. Get out of here. And my weapon's about to break, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore you. We're just gonna keep on going this way. Try to avoid as many enemies as I can. But yeah, just for right now, we're just gonna go there. Uh, we might avoid some Korok because I don't have anything marked. I mean, I could always wear my Korok mask if I would, but... Eh, hold up, wait a second, I see something up there. Hold up. That's nothing. I thought it was a beetle, but never mind. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go down here and, well, just get to the tower. Because we're just gonna... I guess in a way, kind of go along this path. But you also gotta keep an eye on the weather in this area because it kind of tends to... Thunderstorm in a way, I want to say. But yeah. Um, but, um, anyways, um, by the time I'm recording this, <laughs> I mean, I should have made it like an, I'm pretty sure I made an announcement, but like, I know Breath of the Wild might have been delayed a little bit because of something. I'm not sure if it happened because at this point I'm recording, I'm not sure if I'm actually on another trip again. <laughs> Visiting my sister pretty much for a week, but if I don't, then you guys are just getting this regularly, I suppose. But yeah. But regardless, I'm not really going to talk about that. But the tower is just right there, so we're going to head over there. Alright, so it was a little bit high for us, but I'm pretty sure we can make it. But yeah, this area... Oh, hello. This area is mostly jungle-ish, uh, so to speak. Um, let's use the Thunder Spear. I don't feel like using anything. Alrighty. Switch my weapon back. Alrighty, so how where am I gonna go? That's a good question. Actually, uh, I should probably find a stable. Because I know there's like treasure chests that we can possibly get. Not that one. Uh, Riverside Stable. Have we even been to the Riverside Stable? Uh, no, I'm not really. Don't mind about that one right now. Okay, yeah, we could pretty much find this one if we can. The Evil Spirit's armor set is hidden within barren sea of trees. Find these pieces at the highest three waterfalls north of Lake Floria, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much, it's around this area, but we're not going to get to it right now. But I'm just kind of debating, like, how to tackle this tower. I mean, I guess we could only just climb it, that's it. Um, is there any... Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I'm going to take care of you. Because I don't like your face. Your face is creepy. I'm sorry, but your face is creepy. And did I even take a picture of this? Yes, I have. Alrighty, so I guess the only thing to do is just kind of climb this. Wolfling might um, actually kind of stay behind a little bit because of it's climbing. But I think it's a good time to climb because it's not raining. And I think it's a good time not to... Uh, a good time to climb because it's not raining, so yeah. Alright, I'm not going to use a volley's gale just yet. I mean, I could, but I'm going to wait till we get near this tower because this tower is actually kind of somewhat easy to get in a way. But yeah. Anyways, I did scan Amiibo's off screen. Um, I did get another tunic of the wind. And like any duplicates that I have, I did um, sell them. So yeah. Also, um, when I scan Zelda, I got a star fragment, so I can pretty much upgrade <clears throat> anything that has a star fragment, or uses the star fragment. Alright, so the tower is just right there, so that was actually pretty simple to get, but, uh, yeah, let's just wear this, because my champion tunic is actually a little bit more defensive now, so that's actually pretty good. Alright, uh, we have a few enemies over here. I'm not going to waste my arrows, I'm just going to throw and explode. Oh, gee, there's a lot of you guys around here. Oh, crap. Um, I'll s Yikes. Like, get out of here. Alrighty. And, did he? 
Um, wolf link. Did you? He killed. <laughs> he killed a big enemy, did he? He killed a some kind of water buffalo. All right, I see you over there. I don't like your face either. Hiya, buddy. I'm gonna shoot you. Anyway, we got the Farron Tower. Oh. Well, that killed him. And I might as well grab this, a lightning rod. I think that's always one of them. Oh, hello. Well, I mean, I zapped him. I mean, I guess I can... Did you kill anybody? Okay, whatever. Anyways, we got the Farron Tower, so this is pretty much the Farron region. Uh, we could climb this, or we could use Rivala's Gale. Uh, what you're supposed to do is actually knock one of these, because one of them has a, uh, an updraft, but we're not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to, you know, use Rivala's Gale, since I only have one left. So, I might as well have it kind of charging a bit. But yeah, your way you're supposed to do is actually knock one of those slaves, and there's actually a wind current below it that you're supposed to use, but... Nah, and who is over there? Oh, those are some Lazapos. Actually, is there crocs over there? Eh, I'll get the crocs later. <laughs> I'll do it off screen after this episode. But yeah, easy tower, actually. Alright, so let's get the map for the Fear region and start, I guess, somewhat core hunting in a way. Even though I'm kind of going in blind, but... Uh, well, we'll start doing something, but off screen I will, you know, scan some Koroks, but I think this might be a short episode because I honestly don't know what to do in this episode. But let's see how big this area is. I mean, hopefully not too big, but we'll hopefully get something out of it. Um, I don't remember if there's a lot of Koroks in this area, to be fair. I mean, there probably is, but <laughs> we'll see. I should probably wear my Korok mask. Probably give me a general direction of where to go. Oh, it's a big area. I mean, most of it is just water. Oh, I remember that island. Ooh, oh boy. I remember that island. I'm not sure if I will do that island now. Maybe later. We'll see. I could do it now, but I'm going to save it for later on. Alright, so we got uh, Farron. So now we have uh, this section filled out. So let me go some places to explore. Yeah, I mean, I think I feel like there's gonna be a lot of Korok, but I don't think it's not that much. Ah, we'll see. So yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of, I guess, foresty, junglish area. But we're not gonna, you know, really worry about it too much. Um, let's just use my Korok mask. I mean, I don't rely on it too much, but hopefully, you know, at least get something. Um, there are some. Liz oh, it's starting to rain. Uh, there are some Lazapos here, so, um, actually, it might be a good time to get them. There we go. Ah! Ah! I'm just gonna zap them. And while Wolf Link... Actually, this is actually kind of a good strategy. Wolf Link could just hit them while I zap them. Ow! Get out of here. Get out of here. Zap, zap, zap! Or not. You keep missing. And I'll take... Oh, it seems the core is actually responding to something around here. Actually, I kind of might know this area. Actually, it's right here. Alright, um, I... Oh, I got a couple of these. Uh, yeah, it's actually this one. I think this one might need a hardy durian, I, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, you see one of these, um... Sometimes you might have to... Um, which come I call it? Um, give it out a hardy durian in this area because they tend to give you like different fruits or at least ask you for a different fruit that you had to, um, had to shoot. What is the word? Give out. But this area is actually filled with lots of hardy durians, so it's actually a pretty good area to kind of get them. Like, see, there's, like, these trees all over the place, so I say it's really good to kind of get these hardy durians. Also, this is a good place to find, uh, Farash. Because this is actually another area that you'll find them easily. It's more easier than the one in Lake Hylia, so that's actually pretty good. And, unfortunately, Revali's Gale is not charged up, so we're just gonna kind of climb this. Thankfully, it's not raining right now, so I'm not too worried about that. But this might be a short episode because I'm just simply going to explore. Um, I believe there was actually a line on this area. I'm not 100% sure 
the exact area exactly, but there is a line on this area, and I think we might be able to probably gate into a lino area. If it's a blue one, I'll probably fight it. If it's like the white one, uh, depending what weapon it has, I might fight it, but I mean, it's, I mean that should be alright, because my tunic, it's actually. Oh. Oh, no. Okay. I thought I heard a lino. now. Uh, this might be the area, to be honest. I really don't want Wolfly to be in this fight. <laughs> I really don't. Can I? Yeah, uh, I want him to get out of here. Alrighty. Uh, Wolfly, can you stay here? I want you to be safe. Well, if the game starts saving, then I know that I'm in the line of territory. Because I don't see anything. Oh, it's a Henox. Oh. That I can fight. I don't mind. I just gotta kinda have to be a little bit careful. But you know what? I don't mind. I'll fight this Henos. Just because... Oh, shoot, I hear. No, Wolf Link! Yep, yeah, no, no! Mm. Wolf Link, you. Whatever. I didn't want him to attack it, but I guess Wolf Link will kinda play the bait. Hey, okay. yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll just start attacking. Alright, Wolf Link. Hopefully, okay, get away from the Henos because I don't want you to get hurt. Alright. At least my bow is powerful and we think so far not getting hurt. I don't want him to get hurt. I wish for him to not get, not get hurt. I don't want that. Alright. Ah! Okay, um. Yeah! Okay. Get out of here. And you're dead. I mean, I wasn't worth it nothing. And another royal bow. Uh, bow. Wow. And a Royal Bross, I'm getting lots of good weapons. I mean, I knew I need to fight a Chaos Day anyway, because I need their guts, but unfortunately for red ones... Man, that would give uh, really good weapons. Unfortunately for red ones... That scared me. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, the red ones, they don't give out, um, shoot up, guts, so that's kind of the main thing for... Um, Red Hina, they don't give out a lot, and I am going near a shrine, wherever the shrine may be. Speaking of that, um, I need to wear this. I'll probably just have this on for the rest of the time. I'm heading for the shrine, so that's actually kind of a good thing in a way, and the game is saving. Uh. I'm really worried when the game saves, because I feel like... Ooh. I'm kind of curious what this... And I see thunder in the forecast. Um, I don't know about that. Uh, hmm. I know there's a Korok, or not Korok, I'm just trying in this area, and I do believe I know where it's at. But I kind of want to explore what's up here. I feel like this is the area with the line out, and it's actually perfect time since I do have the roots protection. Oh, hello. Um, what kind are you? I, God, I'm kind of worried about... You're a blue one, and you have a spear, which in all honesty, I'm okay with. I want you to stay there. I don't want you getting hurt. Alrighty, um, I guess I'll fight this guy, to be honest, so I think I'm pretty alright with this. Yeah, we're gonna fight this Lionel, because he's right there. Might as well. Hiya, buddy! How's it going? Don't mind if I fight you? Oh, well, okay, you don't want me to come after you? Wolf Link, you son of a gun, I don't want you here. Oh, God. Oh, jeez, yeah, he's, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. He's so gonna die. Uh, okay. Actually, hold on. Uh, let's just get a powerful weapon. Oh my god, poor Wolf Link. <laughs> Whoa, okay, Wolf Link, you're, you're, I, this is kind of bad. And Rivali's Gale. Oh god, uh, nope. I, I cut off. Okay, good job, Wolf Link. I mean, you're gonna get hurt regardless, but I don't want you getting hurt. Okay. Oh boy, Wolf Link, Wolf Link, Wolf Link, Wolf Link. Okay, at least he's more focused on me. Okay, Wolf Link is actually kind of being a distraction right now. Oh, get away! Oh god, I hurt him a lot. Oh, oh, oh poor Wolf Link, my baby. My baby! Oh god, Wolf Link! Wolf Link! Why can't you listen? Oh my god. And he's dead. Well, 
Hey, I should have known better to stay away from this area, but well, I guess I can't get open for the rest of the day. That's kind of sad. Uh, I really hate it when when Wolfling dies. I mean, I should have known, but still, uh, it's, it's just kind of sad. I mean, I could survive on my own, but it was just nice to have a companion. But whatever. Okay, go. I was trying to kill this lineup quick enough, but unfortunately it didn't work. Alright, come on, hit it. And there we go. Try to use a powerful weapon while I'm doing that. Alright. Oh, that would have been hilarious if he jumped off. Alrighty, come on. Yikes. Eh, that's fine. Okay, uh, no. Let's not do that. Come on. Spin, spin, spin. I mean, at least he wasn't my horse, which is a good thing. Come on, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. Not quite. Almost there. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, do we have any... Let's... I can use this. Yikes! Yeah, he's dead. Fortunately for Wolfling, he's gone too, but... Uh, what can you do? <clears throat> Alright, well, at least I got some weapons out. And it's a shock arrow, and I have a savage line of belt. I kind of want that. Uh, hmm. I have a bunch of weapons. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I can get rid of Royal, but I got plenty of these. Might as well use that. But poor Wolflick, may he rest in peace. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. He, he's, he's no longer here with us. I can't summon him anymore because he died. He died. Alright, well, uh, Alrighty, uh, what can we do in this episode? I'm uh, getting near a shrine, which is one thing. But hey, at least we got rid of the line now, so... Because I need, I do need more line of stuff, so I might as well go line of killing in the meantime before they do get powerful. Um... Hmm. I am getting near something, but... I don't know if it's a shrine or... Okay, the core thing is going off. Um, Ashley, I think I might... Oh, hello, treasures. I kind of want to get you. Ashley, I think I know this Korok here. I know there's a Korok nearby. Uh, we have ten arrows. Not bad. Alright, there's plenty of... Oh, hello! <laughs> hello! Um, yeah. Uh... I kind of maybe want to get you, because you're just right there. Um, hmm. This is... I could get it just to scale, but I also want to get a foot. Eh, uh, well. Might as well get a scale. Might as well. Thing is, where are you going to... Okay, you're going to go over there. Okay. It's starting to rain, but that's no biggie. I mean, might as well get a scale, because I don't honestly, I think you do need more scale later on, but... Also, they can be used for selling or making food if you want, so might as well. Alright, um, scale's right here. Thankfully, it didn't fall off a cliff. Oh, huh? Whoa! Okay, I just saw that. Um, I just saw an unknown creature. I wish I got that, but oh well. Holy smokes, a lot of things in here. Sheesh. I kind of want to get these. Okay, my only issue is that it's going to thunderstorm soon, so I might have to uh, get these before, you know, I get struck by lightning. Because these are metallic, so I don't want anything to happen. Alright, let me see. Uh, we got another frenetic bow. I don't need one. I have one with me right now, so I don't need that. But it's there if you need it. Alright, uh, I'm slipping. Okay. But yeah, this area is actually kind of huge. But, you know, off screen I will uh, mark Koros. I mean, I'm I could technically do it blind, but I really don't. If I want to keep the pacing of this game going, I must mark it down Korok. Because not only I don't find the map to be too reliable. I mean, it helps, but I don't find it too reliable. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a short episode, unfortunately. Dang it, game, why do you keep doing this to me? Anyway, shocking arrow. Shock arrows. Ugh. Uh, man, there's a lot, a lot of these treasure chests, which... I don't mind. I kind of like getting these treasure chests. Alright. Uh. Oh, it's a chain ball. Oh, hold on. Well, this is one of them I can probably do. I can't exactly see. Well, I got it anyways, so that's one of them. That's one cork down. Many, many, one, many to go. 
There were a bunch of them to go. Okay. Um. Okay, so now, right now the Korok mass is not, um, shaking, so I think we got whatever Koroks is in this area. But I feel like there's still more. I think there's two of them in this area if I think about it. Well, if it starts shaking, then I kind of have a feeling where it might be, but let me look around the area. That's metallic, but I don't know if it has anything. Um, from the looks of it, I don't really see anything. So I think we're all good with this area with the Korok. Um, let's see, around 20 minutes, so kind of want to... Okay, it's not shaking right now, so I think we're good with the Korok around this area. At least I hope so. Man, there's a bunch of things around here. Uh, I kind of want to head for a stable, not gonna lie. But I guess in the meantime, I'm kind of familiar with some Koroks around here, so I guess I'll do that. Um, there is obviously trees over there, so since it's raining, I can't climb any surface to be honest, so let's just go over here. Alrighty, um, I see you guys. Hello. Get out of here. Alright, um, I might want to do this before, uh, thunder strikes. Okay, where am I supposed to get rid of? I'm supposed to get rid of this one up here. Okay. And then one, which one? This one right here. Okay, let's get rid of this one. Gotcha. Alright, there we go. And yahaha. Yeah. Alrighty. There's plenty of, a lot of stuff around this area that we can explore, but I think for now, I think we might just stop. Um, is there anything else? I mean, there's more things around this area, but... Uh, hmm. I noticed, like, a bunch of things that we could do around here. There's, like, a bunch of treasures, so I gotta keep an eye on the EX treasure that, um, the... Is it the Phantom Gear? No, not the Phantom Gear. What is it? Dark armor. Yeah, there's like, um, treasures around this area. So we're in the right spot, but, uh, we just gotta kind of be a little bit careful. And then the story, ooh, okay, the forecast, I'm not liking that. There's a bunch of lightning. Um, oh, uh, yeah, let's change my weapon a bit, because I don't like that. Um, hopefully the front of it is wooden. I have no idea if it's wooden or not. But no, it is starting to storm here, and I think it's a good time to stop. Hopefully I have everything all set and good. Yeah. Alrighty, well, I'm going to stop it here. So next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're going to explore more of the Faerun region. I'm going to mark Koroks on the map and all that junk. But anyways, I'll see you guys then. So, this is Chibi Scavenging. Bye!